Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Matt, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Swan M200 Mark IIs. If you watched my previous video re-reviewing the Ship 9500s, you would have seen uh, in some B-roll the predecessor to these. These will actually not be replacing those. These are going to be going in my living room for our home theater. These are $180, and these will connect directly to the TV, so no need for a sound bar. These are just going to plug straight in, so let's take a look at them. Forgive me if the angle's a little bit awkward. Uh, it's the best cam camera angle I could get, but uh, we're just going to dig into it. So, okay, so first thing we have here is the remote. Um, I think, I believe all the swans have the same remote here. Um, so we have power, mute, aux one, aux two, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, optical, coax. So um, optical and coax, uh, the way that I'm going to be connecting these to the TV is with an optical toss link cable. Um, you can also connect these via coaxial digital um, and then volume up and down. So there's that. And I guess we have batteries pre-installed here because I have a little pull tab. Well, that just broke off. Cool. Ah, okay. So this uses a CR, I'm guessing 2032 battery. Yeah, CR 2032 battery. So I'm guessing that just, I have no idea how you disconnect that after. Oh, okay. So you need something like a SIM card pin to eject the, oh, that's a little weird, but yeah, whatever. Blocking my own face. I'm a real professional. So what else do we have here? We got a couple of boxes up top. You know what? I am the talent. I shall not block my own face. Okay. So we've got some basic cables here. We have RCA to three and a half millimeter. All right. Probably won't be using those and the standard figure eight power cable good to have and i'm assuming this cable is going to be the cable that connects the two speakers together um, these are powered monitors um, so these are self-powered and there is a cable that links them together so you plug power and signal into one monitor and then there is a linking cable that connects them together and yes that's this guy so this at first, I thought it was a proprietary cable. Ooh, this is nice. Um, so this has a four pin screw in connector. Um, I'm not sure how long this guy is. I've heard it's not super long, so let's take a look. It's not, okay, so yeah, it's, it's long enough, but certainly not the longest cable in the world. Um, I think the problem is, is that once this, you know, if you're using this in, the in a home theater setup like I will, um, it's not gonna go down to the floor and it will kind of, you'll be, you'll see it draping behind the TV, but oh well. Ah, okay. So, ah, oh, cool. It does come with a toss link cable. All right. Um, I actually bought one of these to connect this to my TV and I can return that. So yes, this is a very thin cable. Um, so if you don't know what these are, fiber optic, don't bend, don't kink it because it will break it irreparably, but they're cheap. Okay, so this is the powered one. Okay, so this is the, the main powered unit. So as you can see on the back here, um, this is volume control, um, ethernet connecti uh, connectivity. So you can plug this in directly into your LAN and connect to it over the network. Um, these also connect via Wi-Fi, um, so you can uh, broadcast in them that way. Um, this cable I was talking about earlier, this is what connects it to the other speaker. Um, then you have two auxiliary inputs, um, let's see, coaxial digital input and the fiber optic toss link, which is what I'm going to be using to connect it to my TV. So if you've ever bought like a sound bar for like $100, $150 at Best Buy or something like that that sits directly into your TV, these will absolutely destroy any sound bar. So the main problem with sound bars is they basically sound like mono because they're two tiny speakers that sit directly into your TV. These will sit either side of your TV and you can get true stereo separation of sound. And they also, I mean, just the quality of sound that you get out of these is going to destroy any sound bar. I mean, you look at the size of the speaker on these things. I think these are a five inch right here, but I mean, you're not going to get a speaker that big on a sound bar. Um, and this giant port in the back for sub. 
that's going to get your base. So, um, and these will work with an actual subwoofer, but I don't think I'm going to need it with these. And this guy's probably going to be a lot lighter. Yes. Okay, so there's the other speaker. Snacks. Oh man, I love these. So, I mean, not only do these sound good, they, they look really good. Um, this isn't real wood, it's probably like MDF with a veneer over it to make it look like wood. But, I mean, when these sit next to your TV in your living room, I mean, these just look good. I mean, there's no, there's no question that these will look like they fit in into your living room. Especially if you've got that nice retro aesthetic. Um, the feet on these are super nice. And these grills, if you want to, you can pop these off like I showed you earlier. If you like that look, you can do that. I like them with the grills on. Um, they do have a nice uh, protective grill over the tweeter as well. So if you have children, they can't puck, poke that soft. Uh, is that a soft dome? Hold on. No, that is not a soft dome tweeter. Either way, you don't want to touch it. I'm going to leave the grills on. So there we have it. So, like I said, um, here's the cable that will connect these two together. Um, you plug in power and signal into your main speaker here. You connect it with this cable to the other speaker. This um, handles amplification for both. Um, if you have a surround sound receiver with uh, pre-outs like RCA, you can actually hook these up to your pre-outs and use this for your surround sound home theater. I bought these because I was looking into home theater and I was trying to get started into it and what it came down to was to get started I was gonna have to buy a receiver I was gonna have to buy speakers and buying both I mean it was gonna be enough of a compromise that I was just like I, I, I didn't I didn't really like my options for what I could get for both a receiver and speakers and these for hundred and eighty dollars are a super super good way to start Plus, you can get a receiver that has pre-outs and be able to connect this to a surround sound. So, if, if you have no sound whatsoever, these. If you are looking to replace your soundbar, these. If you have a soundbar, stop it, throw it in the trash, buy these. Um, I mean, these are just great. I have the the predecessor to these, which is the, the Swan M200s, just Mark One. Swan makes really good speakers, and I'm really excited to hear how these sound. Um, I you just watched me pull them out of the box for the first time, so this isn't like, you know, I, I unbox them first, put them back together, and then, you know, put them back together for the video. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'm gonna be doing a review of these. I should hopefully have that out in a couple weeks. Uh, I'm gonna be watching movies, listening to music on them. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll see you soon.